Hey guys, Delt here. I know I said in yesterday's video that I was done with the Zero to Heroes for now, but then I logged in today and remembered that I like when games are difficult and decided let's just try it one more time. One turned into two, and I have the first game here for my second attempt today. We started in Crypts this time instead of the Ice Caves, and there isn't really a reason for that. Both of these maps are probably a little safer than Goblin Caves to do this, but I don't personally think that maps matter too much when you're starting with nothing. Anyway, here's a Crypts Inferno run, and I hope you all enjoy. All right, so here we are starting in the cistern or the bridge room or whatever you want to call it. And the only thing that I really care about before I leave this room is getting that lion's head. Other than that, we might clear the mobs, we might get some chests, but the lion's head is the most important piece. We get some Vigor Pants, and then a crossbow to the face. And just in case you didn't know about this, there's a pressure plate on the floor here. You can throw a torch or a drum or anything that'll stay. Basically, if you're not playing bard, just use a torch. Something needs to be on the pressure plate and then it will lift up a little elevator and brings you to the lion's head. Feathered hat with agility and action speed, definitely not bad. And reinforced gloves with two true fizz, this. I was planning to just run over and open up the two chests in this room too, but we got some visitors coming. I also usually don't like ornate jazzerins, but I decided to pick it up here just for the luck. I feel like 27 isn't really going to help us the most, but it it's fine. It's still a slight upgrade. My main problem with the ornate jazzerins is that they give magic resist instead of other stats like vigor or strength. And for the most part, you're too slow to really utilize that. And magic resist doesn't scale until you get a ton of it anyway. So unless I'm wearing a bunch of magic resist gear, it doesn't really do anything for me. Buckle boots with two dexterity never hurt though. And a slight survival bow upgrade. We're starting to get there. We also got a slight rapier upgrade and now we're ready to move on from this room and go to the next. I'm planning to go toward the pyramid room, but I kind of just want to clear this room next to us too, because why not?
I thought there was only four spiders in here, but there was five. And I did all of that for the chest in there, but it was a mimic anyway, and I could tell because the shriek of weakness effect was on it. And I just didn't want it anymore after that. Dexterity ring. It has magical healing on it, but that doesn't really do anything for us other than increase how much we heal from health pots. I'm going to pick up these padded leggings for some more health because we are very squishy right now. And before we run in, we're just going to take a little peek through the door. Make sure that the death schools are still there and that it doesn't look like they're aggroed on anyone. It didn't look like it, so we just ran on in. And that one was a nightmare. You can tell because it just tried to hit me twice. You can skip two notes with Unchained Harmony, but it's exactly like Harmonic Shield, where if you mess up one of the notes slightly, you can't skip two notes anymore. Also, since I'm wearing a Magic Resist chest already, I decided to grab these Dashing Boots. Again, they're not really giving us any substats, but neither are our Buckle Boots other than health, and these are giving both Dexterity and Move Speed which seemed like a pretty good trade-off to me at the time. In 99% of situations, I would not recommend wearing dashing boots, though. All right, and while clearing around, we did get a strength neck or a max health neck for us. I think I eventually just went with the strength one. Both are good at this point, but neither of them are necessarily the best. And we also got a will magic heal necklace that I'm planning to sell later on. Since the zone's closing, I'm just deciding to skip that room, and when we get into here, I hear another player to our right, so I'm just gonna try to skip through a few more rooms. I might take some damage from mobs, but it'll create more distance to where I don't need to deal with the other players. I wasn't actually looking around in the lobby, so I don't really know who's here. I figured this was far enough, so we're just going to heal up a little bit here and then loot the room.
Another rapier upgrade. We're getting more weapon damage along with three fizz power and armor pen. Really great. We'll definitely take a one weapon damage five of bow upgrade too. And these Avenger Brutes can be good. I'm just really lacking on move speed right now. And having the 1% move speed on my dashing boots is giving me more. So I just decided to keep this. And pretty much the rest of our time here is just spent opening up portals. I've lost a lot of AP trying to do this. And so I'm just trying to make back as much as I can while I'm doing it at the same time. I noticed the rogue trying to take my portal AP and portal experience, and I didn't want that. So I stabbed him a few times and he took a red. That's fine. Uh, maybe we'll see him there. Maybe we won't. I'm not really going to look for him. He looks pretty naked. All right, and here we are in Inferno in the Demon Bat room. Honestly, this used to be one of my least favorite rooms, but now that I'm playing Bard and I have a Buckler, it's not bad at all. As soon as we go out of this room, we're going to pull a Demon Bat that's directly above us. They're really easy. You just crouch down, put your shield up, and they'll hit that every time, and then you can get two swings in. I like to pull them into this room because sometimes they start to fly up pretty high and with that you need to almost look fully upward and that can be kind of annoying to judge so I like to pull them into the room where they can't get much higher than you. And that demon bat really didn't want to aggro for some reason.
I didn't go into the H room at first because I was thinking that the other room was better and it was but for some reason when I saw it on the map it wasn't what I thought it was so I didn't go there I should have went to the other room though And this poop point with plus three dexterity on it, in all reality, is probably better than what I'm wearing. The reason that I didn't pick it up was because of the luck that was on the Ornate Jazzerin. Since I knew I was going to be opening up some Lion's Head chests and Golden Chests in here, I decided to leave it there. In all reality, I probably should have just worn this though, because 27 luck really isn't making that much of a difference. And in this room, there are two lion's head chests. I like to clear around the top first just because, but the lion's head chests are underneath. And our first lion's head will be in this door where we're looking. And the other one will be in the opposite room. And sadly, this was a mimic. I opened it anyway, out of spite.
right here, I was actually planning to go back and grab the poop point. Then I realized it was outside of the zone and I didn't really want to do that. So instead, I was just going to run through boss room to get to where the zone was. And for some reason, in my head, I was thinking this wasn't the Ghost King map, and it was. I'm glad I was thinking that, though, because honestly, I probably would have tried to do it and died. So, um, thanks, Brain, for telling me it wasn't. And this is the room that I was talking about earlier. I should have came to this room. I was planning to shoot the dogs from here with my survival bow, so I wouldn't really have to deal with worrying about taking damage. And then I fell. And I couldn't get back up. So I ran across the room to get to a different cheese spot that typically works better for me. One of the dogs got stuck there, though, so that's cool, I guess. So now we have our escape portal, but I'm pretty much out of heals, so it would be dumb to stay longer. I was just deciding that I could grab the golden chest in the center of this room without pulling the boss and was going to run over the other side to do it so I wouldn't get hit by the archer. And that didn't really work out, so we're just leaving. Alright, and here is what we made from our sellables from that game and the gear that we got so far. And this is also where we're just going to be ending the video for today. So if you enjoyed the content, please just give me a comment, like, or subscribe to the channel. Anything and everything helps, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you who do it. Also, if you're wanting to join a community of people who like Dark and Darker and other video games like it, I'm going to have my community Discord linked in the description below. Feel free to click that, come by, and say hey. And as always, I hope that each and every one of you have a very great day, and I hope to see you all next time. Peace.